Your Daily Prayer, a ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer, and I'm so glad you've joined us. Today is Monday, January 1st, the eighth day of Christmas, and the holy name of Jesus. Let's take a moment to quiet our hearts and minds as we begin our time of prayer together. Let's pray. Almighty God, you wonderfully created the dignity of human nature, and yet more wonderfully restored it. In your mercy, let us share the divine life of the one who came to share our humanity, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Now let's hear today's scripture reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2. May the word of God speak to our souls. When the angels left them and went back to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place that the Lord has made known to us. So they hurried off and located Mary and Joseph and found the baby lying in a manger. When they saw him, they related what they had been told about this child, and all who heard it were astonished at what the shepherds said. But Mary treasured up all these words, pondering in her heart what they might mean. So the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. Everything was just as they had been told. At the end of eight days, when he was circumcised, he was named Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Now, having heard God's word, let's lift up our concerns and thanksgivings to God, knowing that he hears and cares for us. I invite you to join me in prayer, either silently or out loud. Even though we may be far apart, we're united right now in prayer and in the presence of the Holy Spirit. So let's pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. To us a child is born, to us a son is given. Let us pray for the people he came to save. Wonderful Counselor, 
you order all things with your wisdom. Help the church to reveal the mystery of your love and fill her with the spirit of truth. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Mighty God, the government is on your shoulders. Guide the leaders of the nations and bring in your kingdom of justice and righteousness. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Everlasting Father, you call us to live together in unity. Protect by your mercy all your children. Bless our families and renew our communities. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Prince of Peace, you bring reconciliation through the cross. By your healing power, give to all who suffer your gift of wholeness and peace. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Let us commend the world to which Christ came, to the mercy and protection of God. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us for Daily Prayer. We hope this time has been a source of encouragement and inspiration for you. If you enjoyed this program, please share it with a friend or family member, and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode. And if you're interested in supporting our ministry, you can make a donation at our website, goodshepherdlife.org. Remember, no matter what you may face today, God is with you and you are loved. Stay well, be of good cheer, and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow.